is changing faster than the ability of leaders to reinvent themselves. But what are the leading indicators are what goes on inside of us, our healthy roots, being hardy, being resilient, being curious, being authentic, being competitive, and being generous. But in fact, we can be energizers or de-energizers of other people in the way we connect and relate to them. It involves authenticity. It involves building mutually rewarding win-win relationships. And it also involves creating high-performance teams and communities as a leader. And the leader used the word we 10 times as much as they use the word I. That's the fundamentals of healthy leadership. Another part of our emotional health is we understand that we live on a continuum of emotions, from our negative emotions, which are about anger and sadness and anxiety, and our positive emotions, which are hardwired inside of us, like hope and compassion and faith and generosity and love, yes, love. And the best leaders live in their positive emotions. And then when they go down to their negative emotions, they course correct quickly. We measure leaders, and all six of these predict leadership success. But the most powerful predictor of all is spiritual health. Bosses and subordinates and peers say that leaders who are generous in spirit with a sense of gratitude are the ones that people want to follow. Now, one of the great things about the human brain, the human mind, it is that it is constantly evolving and changing. It is not static. So we have the capacity, if we want to focus and become more conscious on growing our minds, growing our brains, and creating our own future. It's called neuroplasticity. And this is fundamental to leading conscious change, yourself and, your, and other people. Imagine when you look at that tree, you see the trunk and you see the branches. And the tree is swaying back and forth. And it's very much like individuals in the face of massive change and uncertainty and adversity. And we're reminded of what we do, our accomplishments, how we look to other people. But what we often forget is that the hidden foundation, the roots of that tree, hold that tree in place. If we went back and looked at the Harvard Business Reviews for the last five years and identified the organizational and team hijackers and accelerators that actually influence people inside organizations. I wrote Grounded, and I actually gained 30 pounds <laughs> writing Grounded. Oh, it gets better. And so I took the book on the road, and uh, uh, I lost the weight, and I was very proud of losing the weight, and we did a bunch of speeches, and I got all my suits taken in, okay? So the last year, to my surprise, I put on 25 pounds, and I realized I'm going to New York life. I gotta wear a suit. I put on my suits this weekend, none of them fit. I went to Nordstrom's yesterday and bought a new suit. <laughs> it's a true story. So these are aspirations. <laughs> these are, this is hard to do, but they're really important daily commitments that we commit to ourselves. I believe that these roots are lying inside of you. They are part of your human nature. They are part of the history of Greece. And I have great confidence that you will come out of this recession and be better than ever in the future. Thank you all very much.